Uh, what we have here, 1946 Ford 2N. Uh, the engine's been locked up on it. And somebody asked me when I go to check tractors out, and I, I told them the engine's locked up, but the hydraulics are good. They say, well, how do you know the hydraulics are good? And I say, that I do a simple test. And uh, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the, the PTO is disengaged because the engine's locked up. If it's engaged, then you won't be able to turn it without turning the engine and the engine won't turn because the engine's locked up. So once that's disengaged, then you turn this, but first you put the quadrant, the three point quadrant all the way up. Okay, now I made this little, this little adapter just so it's easy to turn. You could still turn this by hand, but getting your hand in there is, is, is a, a bit of a problem. So th just slide this, slide this on, and as you turn it, you see the three-point start to come up as you turn this. Now the arms are at full capacity now and you could you could see I'll even stand on them to show you that this is it's going to hold the weight I mean it it may leak down over time but it's holding right now it's It'll hold 200 pounds of steel and sex appeal. So, to release it, you take your quadrant and put your lever down, and that'll show you this goes back down. Like so. So basically, now, even though the track, the, uh, the engine's locked up, you know that the hydraulics work. At least the pump is pumping and getting uh, oil up into the piston. And uh, at least if you, if you bought a parts tractor like this, you'll have a good idea that the hydraulics are working uh, or if they're leaking down, there'll be minimum uh, problems with it. Okay, that's it.